So we're revisiting uh, the update 26 post from the developer, Brian Wheeler, who is the lead PVP combat designer. Uh, we're not going to say anything about Mr. Wheeler. Um, we, we, we are going to discuss here is a little bit about proc sets, proc sets in PVP, right? So originally, if you guys remember the last post where they were talking about, especially when it comes to PVP, that PVPers can, can perform too many actions per minute, right? They were talking about low APM versus high APM players and how some players can combo and deal a large amount of damage within a short window and, uh, and can keep up their buffs and have higher mitigation and higher damage and higher healing, etc. And that they didn't like that because they felt that the skill window, that the skill window was too high. And in my opinion, one of the problems with that is if you think about it, especially things that proc, let's say like Calorians, right? Calorians procs off of a light attack. And if you look at the tooltip on a Calorians, it's got like a 16K tooltip. Of course, that gets cut in half. Same thing with Scoria. Scoria is like around 14K, uh, maybe 12K in, P in uh, no CP. But Scoria's and Calorians, if you ever looked at your death recap, they do hit fairly hard, especially if you ever get a Zon proc. Zon procs, if you have no way of avoiding the damage, you just eat all of the Zons. And you look back at your tooltip and you'll probably have like a 16K Zons on your death recap. Or you get hit by a Nightblade, a Magblade who comes in with a, uh, you know, a a light attack into a stun from concealed out of stealth and then you immediately get soul harvested and then the chlorians procs and then the zon goes off and then the chlorians hits you and you look at your death recap and it's like 10k in your death recap and then it's all procs right it all happens like that within an instant there are other sets that do very similar things like blight seed for example someone puts you know deep met a lot of stam dk's run uh, blight seed and it does you know, stupid amounts of damage some people run uh, the bash helm where you light attack and whatever skill and then you bash and it deals like another 5k damage and so the primary person who is responsible for the introduction of high apms or, or large amounts of actions and it's really damage that, that, that's being associated is primarily the developer right the developer introduces the problem of proc sets like score if you ever look at a, like, you ever look at a score proc throughout throughout a um look at a score proc throughout a bg let's take a look at for example uh, let's pull up the old trusty calculator i talk about this quite often right so typically ground is going to be around let's comfortably say 3.5 to, I've hit been hit in medium armors by a mag DK for like 5.5k. It depends on if that person is running like a staff, if the person is um, utilizing like any sort of major breach that would cause the process to hit harder, or if you have any sort of percent uh, debuff on you, right? Like uh, anything like any that does, you know, either majors uh, or the minors that deal extra percent damage, those increase the damage of proc sets as well, uh, as well as anything that gives you penetration. So they have both spell pen and as well as physical pen. And then you have things that do percent, uh, percent more mitigations, like for example, um, the Necromancer alt, right? Do you, you take an additional 30% damage? That includes um, procs as well. Uh, same thing with Nightblades, right? The Nightblade alt that gives them an additional 20% damage for six seconds also increases uh, the amount of damage that you also take from procs. So like I said, just respectably saying, if you're playing on with a Scoria, Scoria typically is going to be around 4K if it's not blocked. Maybe 3.5K, depending upon your resistances. Like, But comfortably speaking, a scoria proc is typically going to hit you for about 4k right so the scoria procs every five seconds so typically you see a lot of mag dk's run it I, i've run it and previously and i've run it even now and i can dramatically tell the difference when i'm playing my mag dk with scoria than i can without it and mostly because mag dk just really lacks a lot of damage and no additional burst and most classes have at least two abilities for bursting so Scoria on a mag DK really goes a long way in adding extra damage. So if you think about it, Scoria procs every five seconds, but let's com comfortably say BGs, if, especially if you're playing maybe in a death match are going to last, let's say about 15 minutes, right? Going to the limit, it goes 15 minutes. So let's comfortably assume that it only procs four times. It procs every five seconds, but let's just say it procs only every 15 seconds, right? So every 15 seconds, you get a score proc that's going to deal the base up for damage. We're not even talking about the AOE damage that Scoria does, just the direct damage that Scoria does to your opponent, right? So you have roughly about 4K, and every minute it's going to proc four times. So we'll multiply that by four. So that gives us a 16,000, then this is 
already with battle spirit included right so typically score is going to be about 4k depending upon what you wear you know it could be less or it could be more i've been hit you know for 3k and i've also been hit for you know 5.5k it just depends on if you're running a medium armor build or if you're running a light armor build how much spell resistance you have etc you know there's a wide array of things to keep into consideration but to just kind of go like right down the middle i'd go with 4k comfortably say scoria reliably procs for just about 4k uh, so that'll give you 16,000 damage per minute right so over the course of a battleground battleground is roughly going to go for about 15 minutes that's free 240,000 damage it's a free 240,000 damage just from the one proc set, not including the AOE damage that Scoria does. So on a good mag DK, like you're typically going to pull about a million, you're typically going to pull about a million damage. Like in a, in a, in a decent BG, because you, if you're probably running talons and engulfing, so you're going to deal a lot of AOE damage. Roughly, I would say one third of all mag DK damage that run Scoria, uh, that run uh, most, most mag DKs, that run score up roughly one third of your damage comes from Zenimax Online Studios. And that's pretty crazy to think about, right? When you think about it from their complaint of there are too many actions per minute, too many, you know, the, the good players are running around, you know, healing themselves and keeping themselves alive and keeping all their armor buffs on and they're able to, you know, animation cancel. But realistically, speak, realistically speaking, a lot of damage comes just from proc sets, right? Think about like a Velojeth proc or um, Selene's, right? You ever get hit by a Selene's, like a Nightblade comes out, hits you the Selene procs, they fear you, you gotta either take the Selene's, block it, or automatically roll dodge. Think about it also from the perspective of how much resources do you think you waste as a player avoiding proc sets. Let's say a Scoria comes down and you're running a medium armor build, which primarily revolves around like, like line of sighting, and um and roll dodging and now you have to artificially slow your character down because you've got now block the scoria or just eat the damage and then heal through it right how much of the damage in the game comes literally from brian wheeler himself right as the lead combat pvp developer how much of the damage that you think you take as a player comes from him right because every time when i when i play and I'm getting hit. I always, when I'm when I'm streaming, I always say the same thing. Oh, Zenimax hit me for a 4K Scoria, or Zenimax hit me for a 16K Zons. There's a huge portion of the PvP damage that comes from Brian Wheeler himself at Zenimax Online Studios, and yet the complaint is that they need to nerf players. Right? The players need to be nerfed because the skill gap is too high. When the real fundamental problem is the lead PvP combat developer and their insistence on continuously putting in more and more proc sets. One of them that they're discussing changing, of course, is Scoria. I already showed you how much damage Scoria does, right? Scoria, typically the tooltip is gonna be about 12K. And it says, for example, talking about changing the two pieces to make them more in line with the procs. It says that Scoria, for example, now gives spell pen rather than, max. like I said before, the spell pen is gonna make the Scoria hit harder which means that you're now going to be dealing more free damage, right? Maybe it's going to be like the one line of like 800 or 1,000 spell pen. Not exactly sure. Uh, maybe it's like the other the other piece sets that give about 1,200. Well, that's going to deal uh, probably like an additional like 1.5% more damage. But then the rest of their build will also hit harder because spell pen is arguably better than um you know max stat whether it's max dam or max magica even it's even better than running um the extra 129 spell damage or the extra 129 um weapon damage it's of course it's better than the extra critical that you get the spell pen in terms of like when you're when you're building a build spell pen is in essence king over all forms of damage but the primary problem is that it it bypasses it makes these things that originally zenimax was like proxies shouldn't crit but then now they're adding in changes to make procs hit harder. And they've introduced, like I said, more things that do uh, percent damages. There's more opportunities for just a raw percent increases in damage. And then, of course, you have things like healing nerfs. And so all this comes as a problem to the PvP and the Elder Scrolls Online because there's, no, there's, there's very minimal reward for the risk that a player has to take. And I talk about this, that's one of the most fundamental things when it comes to PvP is balancing risk versus reward. Unfortunately, even to this day, 
uh, Brian Wheeler still doesn't understand what risk versus reward means, which is why we still get these kind of nonsensical PvP changes that just don't make sense from a combat perspective. And this is Zenimax's fundamental problem is that literally at the top, at the top of uh, their development, their, at the top of their developers, this is primarily where the problem resides and why why they can't really get a hold of the issues. They're always kind of flip-flopping back and forth. Every patch seems to move in a different direction instead of uniformly making things better and putting in incremental changes to where things are maybe uh, too underpower will kind of bring them up so that they're more in line with everything else. And then what, or, or abilities or sets or, or overpower will kind of knock those down a peg to make them um, a little bit more in line with everything. Or they've got to balance the risk versus reward. A proc set, you know, like a... a uh, and a proc that for example like um anything that gives you weapon damage right so like for example new moon new moon that gives you 100 percent uptime for 481 um and then you compare that to for example like any other proc set that requires you like fury that requires you to be in combat all the time there's there's a little bit of a, a disimbalance between them or for example like um running seventh legion right seventh legion has also has almost 100 percent uptime but it actually requires you to use uh, it actually require, requires you to use a resource um, to keep that buff up for a longer periods of time. Um, and it's the same thing, for example, like dots. Certain dots that are ranged deal more damage than uh, than melee dots. Like, for example, um, engulfing. Not engulfing. Um, uh, oh my god, I just forgot the stupid DK swipe. Not 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 the stamina DK one. That's a, I haven't used the ability in like a year. But in any event, you kind of get the gist of what I'm referring to. Is that there's there's this imbalance. It's not just it's not just this is a this is a this is a dot so it deals x amount of damage and it costs as much you also have to take into account risk versus risk versus reward when it comes to that that's the primary goal in a lead combat developer is to look at the risk and then to measure the reward based on the risk are you a melee build um, and you have to get up in the face of an individual where well, you're more than likely going to deal more damage um, for example like dizzy swing right of an ability that requires you to be within seven meters of an opponent to deal x amount of damage should obviously deal more damage than for example snipe that is 40 meters away even though it has arguably a little bit more of a cast time to it but Obviously, the risk versus the reward, there's a disparity between the two. And this is, of course, this is a lead developer problem. But I really, I really did want to touch on this as this was something that I was like, I always talk about proc sets um, because proxies are the bane, especially, especially um, in no CPBGs where there's a much more balanced gameplay where people aren't surviving indefinitely. For example, like in, like in CP campaigns where people just don't die, um, which is why they changed uh, battlegrounds from being cp to being no cp because the developers realized that it was cancer no one nobody died nobody died when they had cp battlegrounds so they moved they moved it to no cp but then everybody who plays bgs knows that proc sets are king and in my opinion proc sets should be removed if you really want to make the complaint that players pl pvp players who are skilled utilize too many actions per minute one of the biggest culprits is proc sets. One of the biggest culprits to that is proc sets. You deal a light attack, you you can proc your poisons, you proc the light attack, you or you can you proc the glyph, and then you proc whatever proc set, or you 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 deal damage with a with a with a dot that shouldn't deal as much damage, and then you just rain down multiple scorias off of one dot. The real culprits at the end of the day are primarily the free damage that many players get. And it's very hard to nerf free damage when it people will always complain it's literally just like I, I i say it all the time it's literally just like welfare you give people free shit and then you try to take it away they will fucking yell and scream and come out with their torches and picks forks about i want more free shit where's my free shit why are you taking away my free shit and this is the exact same problem in in eso is that when you give players free damage and if you look at pve PVE is like all free damage between your light attack, proc sets, sets that just literally give you percent increases to your damage. Like a lot of that shit is just free. It's like you show up to a trial and you're and like 30% of your damage is literally just given to you by the developer. It's like it's so it's so stupid that even to this day that this combat developer doesn't understand that.